welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. So, Melody Susie was kind enough to send me uh, my choice of two of their four piece Fleur Wee gel nail polish sets. And I chose Colorful Journey and Urban Chic. And these are the two boxes. This is what I got, these colors. And they come in this beautiful art box. It's really beautiful. And each one also came with some stickers. Urban Chic came with these kind of green fern like foliage and also the the bees, the honey pots and some little white flowers. Really cute. This one has a, a very spring feel to it. And also this is very spring and Easter feeling. Um, some calla lilies. And then also this, I believe these are tulips. And they also have these like little, almost like the little pearl dot like frames and then like little curves. And then they have some that are like those shapes as well. So really cute. So today I was gonna try something I haven't done before. And I'm going to start with P11 and this is a kind of it's kind of like a nude pink um to me it it seems like it would be very good for a a base like it's kind of like the color of your nail I thought it was going to be too pink maybe but we'll see how it goes That just goes on, that goes on really, really nicely. And the pink has this um, really, really nice shimmer to it. I don't even know if it can pick up on the camera, but can you see the shimmer? I don't know if you can, but it's so pretty. And these polishes have a fragrance to them. It's it's subtle. It's not overpowering or anything. But um, I was surprised it it's not it's not a very overpowering strong scent. But it's not, it's nice. It's it's not unpleasant at least to me. So I was looking and the instructions on the box kind of got the polish on that one. So yeah, they went on really nicely. So the instructions, I'm gonna pop those in the lamp while I talk. The instructions on the box, I will show it to you real quick. It, the directions state just to shake gently, apply a thin layer and cure. <coughs> it doesn't state that it needs a base coat or a top coat. And I looked it up on YouTube and I did see a 
another video that stated you did not need to use gel base or top coat. So that's really cool. That cuts out a lot. It's a it's a one step gel polish, which is really nice. All right, there we go. I'm out of the lamp. I'm gonna go ahead and do another coat. And I'm touching it with my bare finger and it's definitely not tacky. It does not have that um, inhibition layer that usually gel polishes have that you need to either immediately top coat or wipe off. And I mean, look at that shine. I mean, it, and they definitely come out looking like they've been top coated. All right. Can you see the little bit of sparkle? I mean, they're gorgeous. And again, no tacky layer at all. They're really pretty. So I am going to attempt something. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but let's see. Pink and let's do blue. So I have been trying to figure out a good way to ombre and gel polishes and trying different methods. So I'm going to give this a try. I seen this by, give me a second and I'll pop it in. Um, Tina Young, I believe. It's an older video and she did where she paints like half with the base and then she comes down here and like paints her color on. And then she takes her ombre brush and just kind of gently does like this. And I, you know, I'm thinking about it and I believe she used blue as well. That's getting a little thick. Let me find a a brush to wipe it off the excess. So it's kind of not blending as well as I wanted, but um But anyway, so I had watched one of her videos before and had, tr um, I'm sorry, and had been wanting to try it. Uh, and so I figured this was a good time to do it because I had a really nice base and a color. I, I completely forgot about the blue until I started messing with it because, um, Blue has one of my favorite colors. So. Alright, it's, it is blending. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the lamp and then I'm going to give it another go. And uh, yeah. I'm just going to work on the one for now just to see because I don't want to do all this work on all of them to have it not go well. So I just wiped off some excess there. I just, I really like this. This blue is just gorgeous. I'm just swatching these out while I wait for the lamp.
this power, which they level fast, I find. Yeah, that's really pretty. I'm gonna put that in that while I continue. Okay, so I don't I don't think it's terrible. So we're gonna do another layer of it. And I don't know if she, I know she said she did like half of the nail at first, but then I don't know what she did after. I just remember that part. I'm kind of overlapping the blue so that it um, is mixed in there a little bit. And I'm going to try to like maybe use a little bit less polish to start with. And I did put a little bit of base gel on my brush to make sure it's not dry, but dry brushing might have been better. I don't know if she dry brushed or not. Uh, my brush is like very wet looking. Trying to dry it off a little bit. I do want it to be soft. I'm just trying to like blend that line out a little bit more. However, she did not do that, <laughs> but I still kind of like it. I'm just kind of letting it settle a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the lamp. All right, and while that's curing, just thought I would show you how that looks. Really pretty, no tacky layer completely tack free smooth beautiful looks top coated already so nice and while we're waiting let's do a couple other ones let's just check out this green po5 i call this like a grass green i don't know if that's that's just what it looks like to me. It looks like fresh grass. Really pretty green. I don't know, I kind of like it. 
trying to make sure it's dry. I'm just popping it off because I want to see like if it was on my nail. That's what it would kind of look like. I might have not have done like the two full base coats because it is very pink, but I do. I like it. I don't I don't know what y'all feel, but I think it's pretty cute. Yeah, so maybe a little too pink. But let's see. a little bit more subtle. I'm going to go ahead and do, put this in the lamp and then we'll do another coat. Here's that beautiful green. It's really pretty. And let's see. Let's do another one. Let's check out the yellow. This is P10. And this is like a very buttery yellow. Very pale. Of course, my um, swatch sticks had dust on them. Does this yellow have shimmer in it too? Oh, it does. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. I didn't even notice it. But yeah, this yellow has a shimmer as well. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the lamp. And let's just keep it going. Okay, so let's do P29. This beautiful, deep kind of red. Also, I want to mention that these brushes, the round, like, kind of paddle style. I love those kinds of brushes. Especially if you're not a great nail painter. Look at that beautiful deep red. It's so nice. All right, let's go back to the nail tip. Ooh, that was a lot. I don't think I need that much on there. I find like the bottles are 
I really like the tops of the bottles. They have like a good suction. But I um, tend to kind of move fast sometimes and just like shove the, oh, I got something cured in it. And they, it's, it's a pretty big suction. And if you do it too fast, they, it kind of like bubbles out over the rim. All right, I'm kind of getting the hang of this a little bit better. It's a little bit more subtle because I used a lighter hand on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this one and I'm gonna do one more just to make it a little bit darker. I, honestly, I can't remember now if I did three on that. But here we go. There's that yellow and that really nice red fully cured in one minute. And then let's see, let's do, I love bright pinks. And this one's a good hot pink, it's P23. Maybe a fuchsia hot pink. I mean, do you consider this hot pink? Or just consider it like a fuchsia, magenta, what, what would you call those? I call it beautiful. That's a gorgeous pink. I love it. So nice. All right, here's this one. I don't know what happened. I didn't notice that little spot when I put it in the lamp. Maybe it was there and I just wasn't paying attention, but I didn't notice it. Ooh, I kind of put that up a little too much. Or I pulled too much up and then I pulled too much back down. So let's um, fix that in a second. Yeah, I got too much pink down there. All right, let me a little bit of blue. So let's see. Do they look like they'd go in the same hand? What do y'all think? I think so. I'm gonna swish swish. Just to soften that up a little bit. Yep, I like it. Put that back in real quick. There's that beautiful pink. And then of course we have black. I 
it's not a um, like completely opaque black. So if you go on for like a sheer kind of look that would be a sheer black, this would be great. But I'm pretty sure if you do two coats, it would um, provide a lot more coverage. But yeah, you can see it's like a sheer black. Still really nice. I'm going to pop that in the lamp. There we go. Yeah, so what do y'all think about my little idea of trying this method out? I know it was a really old video. Ah, uh, yeah. I actually, I really like this. I wish I had, I wish some of the stickers had something in blue on them because... That would be really fun to do. But let's see. All right. I don't really need to do the white, but I'm going to do it real quick. I'm going to go because it's the last one. So. The white is really nice and opaque. The white can be a pain in the butt to get streak free and not patchy, but look at that. And that came out really nicely. And just so you see that black is fully cured. I mean, it's thin, so shouldn't be a problem. Let's do a, let's do a thicker layer. See if we can get it more opaque. Yeah, I mean, it's still a little bit kind of further at the top where the tip is bigger. which would kind of be on your nail bed anyway. But look, so you really wouldn't be able to see through when it's like right there. That's really nice black done. All right. And so I have a full swatch stick collection real quick. I'm gonna pop the pink on a swatch stick so I can put them on a ring. When I have a collection I really like, sometimes I just throw out the swatch sticks, but um, this one will be kept with my favorites that are like right on hand because I really like this polish. And again, there's that pink. It has that little bit of shimmer to it. Really gorgeous. So I'm going to continue the rest of the nails off camera because it ended up taking me about 10 minutes and I don't think you want to sit through that. So I'll be right back with them all completed. All right, here we go. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment below, share and subscribe so you're notified of future uploads. Bye. Thanks for watching.